Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is having an incredible day. Today, I'm gonna give you a little tour of where I have been living for the past year, why I've been loving it, and pretty much just the ultimate mountain bike van build. In my opinion, this is the most incredible layout you can do. Let's go. everyone we are heading to the east coast and i'm going to show you my fan but first i'm going to take you to my favorite park so one of the main reasons why i built this van is to have the garage first i'm going to show you this my mom actually measured this all out sewed it together and i asked her because i don't want to have any of my bike stuff inside the house this is all my helmets my gloves my shoes my pads everything bike related and nothing gets dirty inside. Here I have where I fill up my water tanks, which is 30 gallons of clean water. Out here I have another outdoor shower. All right, so just like my door pockets, we made this so you don't see inside and we can leave the doors open and it's all Velcroed. This is the slide out and it completely slides out and holds about 500 pounds. I also put three bike mounts on here and left an open space for right now my golf clubs, but it also fits perfectly in my bike bag. So when I travel, I can put it there. <laughs> All right, so my bed is a full size bed and because it's a full size, we had like about this much of empty space. So my parents made a little cubby and I have extra blankets, books and uh, at night, I can put a cup of water here and it works perfect. We have this table that swivels all three ways. One is for this person to do work. Another one is for me to work here and enjoy a coffee with the beautiful view and entertain my guests. So another favorite of mine is the outdoor table where I can put two guests outside, enjoy the beautiful view, and uh, eat a dinner. So nothing in the van is propane. I wanted to stay away. I even have a heater that I plug in if it gets too cold. So the entire van is all electrical. 400 watts of solar panels. Renogy is the brand. And the batteries together, I'm able to fully charge my handy dandy vacuum cleaner that I use every day and my e-bike. I also can use a hair dryer, charge my phone and laptop. I can also plug in here. I have a crock pot, one of these to boil my water for my tea. I even have a magic bullet so I can make smoothies. It's perfect. I also have a nomadic air conditioner. It's the nomadic 2000 and it's perfect. I think without that, I probably wouldn't even be able to sleep at night. I have the air vent right there. That's so if I'm cooking, it just kind of blows out all the air and it doesn't keep the van smelly because I cook every day. It's my um, guest lamp. Comes out every time I have a guest over. I have one drawer in this van and it has all my kitchen stuff. Silverware, spatula, chopsticks, got it all. The trick for the charcuterie boards is that you have to fill all the empty spaces. So I'm dropping a couple of blueberries in there. It's a charcuterie board. Trust me. Oh my gosh! We forgot the crackers! <laughs> So here's a quick look at what the van looks like once the doors are closed and a little tour of the inside. I have one hanging closet, which is right here, has some dresses, jackets, t-shirts. Down here I have my water pump and water heater. This is my shower. When I do shower, I take out the toilet. The door shower is one of these slide doors, super nice, very clean. I usually leave it open. My shower light is right here. And over here, for all my storage in every single cabinet, I have these little square cubbies that hold everything super nice, fully comes out. They're pretty big and spacious. Even my clothes have one of these. I also have these kind of locks that we installed make sure that it's very tight when we drive. 
Okay, and then down here I have a bench. That this bench is also storage. So this comes out just like that. It's a bench, nice and cushiony. And inside the box is sleeping bag, extra Kenda tires. I have a heater. I have some bike stuff, a fishing pole. I love fishing. This is one of my favorite games. It's a paddle, the paddle ball game. You can play at the beach. All my winter stuff. I have a slack line packed away. I have a golf game. This is a hammock, of course. I have word search. I have two because I love playing and racing somebody else. Just like that, back to where it was. Okay, so we tried to maximize on all the space. So down here, next to the fridge, we made a pull-out bar, slides right in and out, and has this lock so that we made a hole into the floor. Locks just like that. And doesn't come out. Okay, so for another little compartment, one of my favorites. Never have a clue. Nice little compartment for the shoes. Also back here for the garage, I didn't want to see it, but I also wanted to have access. So we made it a little Velcro, installed a battery powered light over there in the corner. We also decided not to put cabinets on both sides so it didn't seem too cluttered and I can sit up while on the laptop or read a book. Here you have it. This is the van my dad and I built and I've been living in it for the past year and absolutely loving it. Thanks for checking out my home on wheels. I am now heading to the East Coast. enjoyed that video and want more please hit that subscribe comment share like do all those incredible things i would greatly appreciate everyone once again thank you so much for watching hope you're all having a fantastic day and if you have not yet get out and ride your bike catch you on the next video everyone <laughs>